Ask your mama, can I spend the night? <laughs> hey, I wanted you to hear that part. That's the part. When I was, when I heard that for the first time, that's the part that caught me. I'm like, damn, why you Bro, you used to ask your everybody. Cousin, bro, you, you, you go ask my mom. Because if I ask her, she going to say no. You know she going to say yes if you ask her. Bro, you ask her. You know she going to say yes. Big Holly, y'all already know what's going on. I'm here with the boys. We're going on, boy. It's your boy, Snapper Jones, man. What's up with it? You know what I'm saying? Listen. We about to hop into this T Grizzly. Um, it's not really a first reaction. We're just gonna give our thoughts on like we've kind of heard some of the songs. Yeah. Like listen through the album already. So we're just gonna talk about it. Like talk about the album. We're gonna play through it a little bit so we can react to it with y'all if this is y'all first time listening to it. And uh yeah, so you know what I'm saying? I'm jumping out the gate. Look, T Grizzly one of my favorite artists. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, so I was super excited on the album drop. I'm excited to do this review, bruh. Cause there's some bangers on here. Like T Grizzly has never failed. He had the nah. joint tape with uh, Dirk, right? Dirk, yeah. He had Lush. that one. That one slapped. Yup. He uh, had the my moment. That was like his first album slash EP. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can call it. And now he came out with with this joint right here. So yeah. Still my still moment. my moment. You know what I'm saying? So let's check it out. I'm book smart, street smart, but still with all that dumb shit. Right nigga to link with, wrong nigga to fuck with. Yeah. Me. See, like, stuff like that, like, when T Grizzly say stuff like that, bro, yeah. listen, like, uh, what, what, what he say? Hold on, let me back it up. All that dumb shit, right nigga to link with, wrong. Right person to link with, wrong people to, bro, like, that's, you feel, if you, if yeah. you got any type of real bone in your body, dog, right. when you hear T Grizzly, you gonna be like, bro. I feel you. Facts. Every T, T Grizzly's, like I say, one of them dudes. He don't have to say the most lyrical shit, but you feel what he say. Yeah. Just like Pac. Pac. I'm not comparing him to Pac, so please. But Pac never had bars. He just spoke real shit. To me. To me. <laughs> nah, Pac you never right, had bars. Right, he just spoke that. the truth. He just was like a poet, bro. He yeah. spoke the truth. Poetic, yeah. The fuck with in love with these streets. I just hate what they come with. If ain't no lie to take the test around, I can't trust the bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Station game, pull up, let them pumps hit. Yeah, trampoline game, make gas station game, pull up, let them pumps hit. Come on. Like, he man. got a lot of. What's the other bar he had in here? Come on, man. Like, bro, like, T Grizzly has. Bro, like, when this hit the club, when, what was it, first day out? That was his first, like, big yeah, smack. Bro, listen, when that beat switched. You can pray it on my down. That was like the meat meal. Was, that was like the dream chase. That was like the, the intro for yeah, yeah, bro. We had a discussion about this. Like, yeah. what song slaps the hardest in the club? I think T Grizzly first day out is competing it's with. It's up there. With uh, uh, Cash Money taking over for the 9 9. When that beat dropped. Yeah. Oh my. See, like Meek Mill, I just didn't like the second part of the song. So that's probably why it didn't okay. resonate with me, you know what I'm saying? But the beat switch was definitely hard. You think that, like, bro, T Grizzly got bars, dog. Sure. I don't ever want to hear people say, like, he he said, you don't think this had clippers the way it knock off your fro? Bro, we going to listen to some more T Grizzly. Real shit. Rappers you know what I'm ass, real shit. Facts. Like rap like X really got a hey, shout out to X. He just dropped bad yesterday. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all go listen to that. Uh off the skins album. Skins album I think come out like December 7th or something. But y'all go listen to that. But yeah, T Grizzly, like I like how and he actually pronounced his name right, Tentacion. Yeah. Where other people be calling him extension and uh Tentention, whatever. Just all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Pass out blessings. A lot of hundreds of me, I could pass out extras. Happy enough to pass out. I used to pass out testers. A nigga blow at me and miss. That's his pass to heaven. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A nigga blow at me and miss. That's his pass to heaven. Let me tell y'all something, man. I don't know where y'all from, but where I'm from. You gonna pull it, you better use it. And if you use it, you better hit him. You better hit him. Cause if you don't. And you better finish the job too. And that's not nothing to glorify, but I'm just saying, if you're gonna pull out a weapon and try to end somebody and you miss and they see you again, what you think they're gonna do? Facts. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Especially if you live in the streets, it's a wrap. Yeah, for sure. So it. Another song that we really mess with hardcore off yeah. of this. Like, we're just going to go through our favorites on here yeah. and just talk about the album. The next one was like, Wake Up With Chance. When I heard this, when I, I even seen he did a song with Chance, I was like, I got to check it out. Because Chance is dope. Yeah, Chance is yeah. fire, dog. And I didn't think that they could be like able to make a song together. Because they just on two different vibes. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, so I was, yeah. I was excited. Hey, man, look. It's the difference between 
preaching and speaking from experience. We the ones, we the ones moving around them churches. I like these niggas moving, man. God, I can't even tell them. Make sure you tell them. Wake up, wake up, pray up, stay up. Yeah. Like, this is an anthem type song. Like, bro, this is, this is, uh, Shoot arounds, basketball, you yeah. put in there with, with yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's a feel good type vibe, you know what I'm saying? But it's also, he speaks to you, like, in the song. Like, he's speaking to the people, like, when he rap, bro, I would have never thought T Grizzly would have ever came across with a message like he did in this song. Yeah. He even talking to people, like, in jail, telling them, like, bro, listen, this isn't the end of the road. Yeah. Just playing, and you could get past anything. I would have never thought I would have heard that from T Grizzly. Yeah. But we're going to hop straight into that verse that I'm talking about. <laughs> And that's, that's why he dope, right? Because T really like, all right, he from the hood. He from the streets. Yeah. And like I was saying, he did shit. But now, as you can see, he got older. He got some bread. He understood. He fucked up. And now he's telling y'all, like, bro, yeah, I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I did it myself. But this is not the way to go about shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Facts. Look, that's Facts. some real shit. Bro, and we was talking to He Got Kicks, right? Yeah. He Got Kicks was telling uh, us at SneakerCon, he was basically like, um, yeah, like the people in his hood, they was like, bro, the hood not for you. Like, if you want money, stay away from what we doing. Yeah. Just go hoop. You know what I'm saying? You hoop, we'll buy you shoes, do what yeah. you got to do, and take yourself elsewhere. Yeah. That's why people, that's why I have a, a look. I don't glorify gang culture, but I can... Uh, I respect gang culture, cause the ones who they know can make it. There's the ones who is in the hood, like doing what they need to yeah. do. And then there's the ones like me that was smart. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And people kept me. They said, "Bro, listen, it's not for Stay you. That way. You got any problems? Yeah. Let us handle it. You go do your thing, yeah. cause you're supposed to make it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just look out for and what that's you when you give. Do. Yeah, exactly. That's when you give back when you make it up there. And here come the the, the bars about the jail. My man about to spaz on these. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Hmm. That nigga said you Yo. locked up with your soul free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even though you locked up in the wash, you can still get right. Like you can still mentally get right and figure yeah. out what the hell you're gonna do when you go. And that time while you're like wasting away inside of jail, don't waste that time. Right. Like use it for when you get out. You know what I'm saying? I get on coats. They fuck with the kid. I'm the adult. Bitch, I'm the father figure. Nigga, the coach. Fuck a result. I want revolt. Yeah. And that's why Chance is dope, right? Because everybody knows Chance is like the biggest philanthropist in Chicago, Chop, period. Yeah, like, facts. he gives back money, millions, and he's an independent artist, so that's money straight out of his pocket to give right back to the city. So. Yeah. And, and Chance even admitted on the Joe Button podcast, like, he's not like... Um, I seen that. Yeah. He said, I'm not the smartest with money. I don't know what to invest in. I live... He got, like, one truck, I think. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He got one crib. That's it. He don't got a house in L.A. You know what I'm saying? And he really put something towards his community. He Like, I need security. They trying to get the, the mayor of the city out of here. Yeah. He, he's asking for his resignation. You know what I'm saying? All types of stuff. And you got to respect Chance for stuff like that. But we're going to hop back into his verse a little bit. I'm at your bow tie. Like, see, he's telling you, like, bro, I can do my stuff in the city, but yeah. then I could, I could connect with people like too. Chief Keith. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Hit up Sosa. You know what I'm saying? Listen. All right, we're going to hop into We Dreaming. This is one of Snipes' favorites. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what T Grizzly was talking about on this. <laughs> Like, bro, like, this is another, like, and you could, if y'all follow Snipe on Snapchat, or not Snapchat, Instagram, watch his story, you know what I'm saying? All the dreaming type stuff, you can see, like, my bro, bro went from, I'm not gonna say nothing, but, but went from 
one place to y'all see the man's sneaker collection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Went from one th and I feel like that's why T Grizz the correlates. Yeah, you know correlates, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like to take it from he's talking about like the color of his uh seats and his whip, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. He said like before he even like seen it, he dreamed it like like before he had it, he dreamed it. And we talk about yeah, taking things into existence all the time. Like when I had nothing, bro, I like you said, if you would have told me I was living this life, I would have never believed you. If somebody would have told me I would have been doing YouTube. Linking up, meeting people, people asking to take pictures with me, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never thought, but like I say, man, like you gotta you gotta rock with Grizzly. Facts. That's, bro, look, that's literally like what goes on behind the scenes of this YouTube right. stuff, you know what I'm saying? Call, hey, look, bro, this happened. Uh, we hopping on this like bro like he's seen there's nights bro. I stay up till I go to work in the morning dog Any <laughs> and, and I go straight to school do after dog. I don't know how you do it. It's crazy and it motivate me to, to stay up, but yeah, it's real. Yeah, my man be driving, you know what I'm saying? My man lives about seven. He live in the Everglades. Down here. <laughs> he, he travel up here, you know what I'm saying, to do videos. That's the type of dedication it takes. All right, this next joint is another one of my favorites, man. It's called Hustling T Grid. And I think the feature is like Brian Hamilton or something yeah. like that. This one is a banger, too. It kind of got that rags to riches type vibe. That's what I like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But this is, this is a banger for sure. Like this, like this album, you can also tell like T Grizzly took more time in the studio. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even his uh his project with Dirt, they you can tell like they got in there. I'm not saying like just threw something together because it was a good project. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But they kind of got in there. It was like, hey, let's do this. They got a bunch of songs at one time. Exactly. Type shit. Yeah. This looked like it, it it was generated genuinely. You know what I'm saying. On top of that, I like how he got features by people who not really that popping because he giving people opportunity. It's easy to just make a call and get a feature from the hottest person. Yeah, he got a lot of unknown people on these records. That's actually Actually doing a great job, so that's what's up too. This nigga, bro, said, what? Ceiling gone, freezing cold. I remember when the hoodie was, was my, my winter, winter coat. coat. Oh my life, that's the, <laughs> that's my life. That's why I call like like the struggle. Like if you from a certain, I feel like T Grizzly. A lot of people don't like T Grizzly. Just because like you not you don't understand like you're not from yeah. that environment. If you're not from that, then I mean cool. Like I, I know everybody's had a struggle. I don't care everybody. like how like whether it was you grew like you could have been from the suburbs. Like if you had to uh like use baseball gloves till your fingers came out. Yeah. So everybody's had a struggle where they say, look, this is what it's supposed to be, but this all I got and I'm right. gonna make it work. You know what I'm saying? And everybody he, and he just bro when it comes to T Grizzly, he just talked that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's just crazy. I used to I remember when a hoodie was my one that's real bro. Yeah. It ain't lyrical, it ain't all but it's you feel it. Yeah you felt that as soon as he said it. Real man, the streets, bro. I'm trying to keep heat, heat in, in my, my home, home but, the, but streets the streets cold, cold so I, I can't leave the heat at home. Come on, man. Hey, look, it's real. He's saying basically, I'm going through this struggle trying to keep heat in my home, but when Listen, I go outside, I can't. The struggle leave. follows, like the what, what I'm going on at home, follow not follows you to the street, but you can see how it. it um, Correlates to what's going on outside. Really? So I'm trying to keep heat in my home, but the streets is cold in a different way, and I got to keep the heat there too, but in a different way. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? I like that word. Maneuvering. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So this last one we're gonna hop into is Babies to Men. This is another one of our favorites uh, from this album. This was the outro, right? Yeah, it was the I last think. one. Yeah. I heard. yeah. So we gonna hop into this. Let y'all hear some of that. This is basically just about his story, like how like, they grew up fast from baby to men, but I like yeah. this shit as well. Yeah. Ask your mama, can I spend the night? Hey, I wanted you to hear that part. That's the part. When I was, when I heard that for the first time, that's the part that caught me. I'm like, damn, I used to bro, do that. Bro, you used to ask your Everybody. cousin. Bro, you, you, you go ask my mom. Because if I ask her, she going to say no. You know she going to say yes if you ask. Bro, bro you, ask, you know she going to say yes. And man. then they call you in there. Do you want to go over your cousin's house? 
Ask me if you can go back <laughs> over your cousin's house. Yeah, that's fine. Don't hey, get you close. That, you know what I'm that, just, that bring me back. That's crazy. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> Bro, I know these clothes, bro, listen, I done wore some people's clothes before in my life, but listen, because my mom used to take us, this is how crazy it is, at the beginning of the school year, my mom used to take us to JCPenney's, right? Facts. To get one outfit. Facts. One outfit for the school year, dog. You got, you got one pair, bro, and I used to be cheap too, yeah. because in high school, all I wore was uh basketball shorts yeah so like while jeans was 40 i was trying to cut the price and get two yeah you know what i'm saying instead of 40 dollar jeans i was getting three pairs of 12 dollar basketball shorts no brand what he what he said was i know these jeans too big but they air hard so he basically saying like i know they're too big but niggas don't think i'm fly because it's like the yeah. hottest shit out right now so i'm gonna take that l and they're gonna be a little baggy and i ain't gonna be able to fit them but I'm just trying to have sew that belt up, dog. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's, that's what it was. Dang, my elbow, Ashley, bro. Oh, my God. Standing outside the apartment on Chicago. With some niggas rode up in the charger. Like, come up off the glass before we start sparking. All I remember is gunshots and doors barking. Bro, like, that's what's saving my old niggas. So bro, what? He basically telling the story about how his innocence was stolen from him, right? He was like, everything was cool till one night. I'm out with my friends. And I got family in Detroit. They real big on, like, Cartier lenses. So, he yeah. said... The, the charter pub, like, hey, bro, run them frames. That's like the Cardi's that they wear. Mm -hmm. Guns start sparking, you know what I'm saying? And that's still your innocence, because now you like, yeah, you got it lit, bro. What? We don't See that? He said, no statue. Oh, you know what that means. He said the next day we on, we on Seven Mile in Ferguson with the 40, so... It, that's an example of them stealing this innocence. He like, the next day we looking for them because they're like, shit, we ain't gonna give them another chance. Yeah, facts. And if y'all know, statute of limitations, what that means is when, uh, like, how long the government can, or how long the justice system can come after you for a crime. Yeah. So, like, some stuff, if they don't catch you, like, in the moment, they can't charge you for Obviously, it. Bill Cosby ain't had no statute of limitations. Yeah, the only, the only, <laughs> the only that's what I was gonna get into. The only two crimes that they have no statute of limitations is rape and murder okay are the only two crimes that don't have statute of limitation so that's why he said you know what i'm saying got in that story okay you know what i'm saying but we're gonna wrap it up here you know what i'm saying we hopped into t grizzly album still my moment you know what i'm saying we showed y'all our bangers y'all let us know what songs y'all thought was fire off Thanks. the album listen this was a good project especially for a weekend where i'm not gonna say we didn't get a lot of good music but i will probably say this was the standout project of the weekend definitely standout project of the weekend i tried mm -hmm. to look at uh, a lot of other stuff that dropped i know that uh oh i haven't listened to trippy red yet and i still gotta listen to dang i still got a lot of music little pete shmino i'm dang. not really big on pete like that Look, we got more more stuff coming. Y'all let us know if y'all want us to, uh, which other ones y'all want to give, well, us to give y'all our favorites on, but what's y'all have final thoughts on? Two Man, this, this album was fire, bro. Um, I'm seeing progression in T. Grizzly, not only in, like, the bars, but in, like, the message. Like, his last album, it was more like, I made it, yeah. and he was, like, you know what I'm saying, flexing because he got some bread for the first time, but now he motivated and he actually... You know what I'm saying? Trying to spread a message. So I see the I see the growth. Yeah, for sure. Y'all let us know what y'all thought it is. Y'all head over to Sniper uh channel. Like y'all like down comment. Below, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Down below. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. And uh until next time, guys. We out of here. Thought this was my all, but it isn't. They would have blamed God, but I didn't. My whole team took it in stride. We ain't never took no pride. Our love for this game is the reason why we in it. They thought this was my all, but it isn't. They would have blamed God, but I didn't. My whole team took it in stride. We ain't never took no pride. Our love for this game is the reason why we in it. You never compromise and show no change. But we still about to blow no propane. I got these thoughts of suicide. Since these people want me dead, I'll take a bullet to the head like Cobain. <laughs>